Hey Al, there's a ladder here. Maybe the source of the footsteps climbed up and went outside. Could be. Come on, let's go. Before the stink down here makes me vomit. Okay, the good news is we're out of the sewer. The bad news is there's nobody here. Want a break for lunch? I'm telling you, we should go back to headquarters. We have to let the Colonel know about Mr. Tucker. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, we don't have much of a choice now. Oh, there you are! Mr. Elric! Mr. Edward Elric! Elric. Edward Elric. Oh, thank God you're all right. We've been looking all over for you. Huh? What do you want with me? My orders are to return you to headquarters at once. The serial killer has been... Edward Elric. Full Metal Alchemist! Scar on the forehead! Wait! No! <clears throat> this guy... This guy is serious. In the name of the great God Almighty, thou shalt perish. Who are you? Why are you after me? If you are the creators of this society, then there must also be destroyers. So we have no choice, huh? You asked for it! Your courage is admirable. <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Um, um, this seems impossible, maybe. Um, can I just go up here and, like, hide? Get him. Damn it, I am so bad at that. I am too slow. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. This is where it ends! Oh wait, no, this is supposed to happen! <gasps> I forgot. Ow! You bastard! Hmm, so you create a circle by joining your hands together and transmute via the power that circulates within. In that case... I shall first destroy your right hand!
give you a moment to pray to God. Don't waste your time. I stopped believing in him. Is it only me you're after? Or are you going to kill my brother Al too? I will eliminate anyone who interferes, but for now, Full Metal Alchemist, you're the only one I want. Fine. Then promise me that you won't lay a finger on my brother. I shall keep that promise. Ed, have you lost your mind? What are you doing? Get out of here! Just get up and run, damn it! Thou shalt perish, full metal alchemist! No! Please, don't do it! No! Hold it right there. <laughs> that was too close, Edward. Lieutenant, who is this? He's a suspect in the state alchemist's serial killings, but now it's obvious he's the perpetrator. Come as an agent of God to carry out his judgments. If you must interfere, you shall be eliminated as well. Interesting. In that case, I shall take you on. Stay back, Colonel. Don't you remember? You're useless in the rain. Use useless. Unforgivable enemy of the state! If you must annihilate state alchemists, then come and defeat me first! For my name is Alex Luis Armstrong, the strong-armed alchemist! Hmm, the odds are against me if I take on so many at once. Hold it! You're completely surrounded! Do you really think you can escape us? Transmuted a hole in the ground. The classic sewer escape. Alphonse! Al, are you alright? You, you stupid big brother! Why didn't you get up and run when I told you to, you idiot? <laughs> But I couldn't run away unless you were with me. So you decided to die instead? That's really smart. <sighs> we're falling apart, aren't we? We must look pathetic. But we're alive. Damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way to ruin a sentimental moment. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Are you guys all right? We were worried about you. I'm just glad you're still alive. Well, we were alive, but we're far from all right. Colonel, we went to Mr. Tucker's house and... I know. Hughes already looked into it. Mr. Tucker was murdered, most definitely by Scar. 
That's what I thought. What a mess. Three dead in a single day. An MP, Tucker, and Tucker's little girl. So Mr. Tucker did have a daughter. We saw a picture of them. That's right. And the daughter, before she was killed by Scar, seems to have been... Hughes. Oh, right. Forget I said anything. This doesn't concern you guys. Quite the hassle we have on our hands. But he won't have his way for long, now that he's in my jurisdiction. Let there be no doubt. The next time we see him, we'll crush him. Well, that's enough of that. So, Ed, uh, what are you guys gonna do now? Well, I wanna fix Al's body, but I can't use alchemy with my arm busted up like this. Would you like for me to fix you up? No, thank you. I'm the only one who knows how to attach Al's soul to his armor, so I'm gonna have to get my arm fixed first. Good point. If Edward can't use alchemy, he's just... A foul-mouthed brat. A cocky little shrimp. Useless. Positively useless. Sorry, brother. You're on your own. <laughs> what are you guys picking on me for? Uh, what's the use? Time to go see my mechanic. Hmm. Then I shall be your bodyguard on your way to the mechanic's shop. Man, this is so weird. The music sounds just like it's from Dot Hack GU. Huh? Are you kidding me? I don't need a bodyguard. Maybe I'm just remembering it. I don't know. Yes, you do. You don't know when Scar might appear again. Besides, you can't carry Alphonse by yourself. <sighs> well, it doesn't have to be the major. I've got mounds of work to do, so I have to return to Central Pronto. There's no way I can leave East Headquarters. And I couldn't protect you from a guy like Scar. Then it's set! No, it isn't! If you're still going to throw tantrums, I can court-martial you for disobeying orders. How would you like that? You make me so mad! Well then, we should start packing. You should get ready too, Edward Elric. Don't forget your blankie now. <laughs> he really is my grandpa. <laughs> Treating me like a baby! Here we are at last, Major. This is Risenbolt, our hometown. Hmm, the crisp, clean air. Such a quiet, peaceful place. I told you we didn't need a bodyguard. As soon as my arm's fixed, I'm cutting you loose, Major. What are you saying, Edward Elric? You must learn that there is no shame in accepting another's help. One with true strength acknowledges one's own weaknesses with humility and accepts help at times of need. 
Okay, okay, I gotcha. By the way, this is the first time I've ever met an auto mail mechanic. There's a shop still a ways from here. See that house over there? That's it. They give me a discount because I'm an old customer. They do good work. Come on, we're almost there. Welcome, boys. So good to see you. Hey, Auntie Panaco. I need your services again. It's been a long time, Auntie. Alex Luis Armstrong is the name. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, madam. I'm Panaco Rockbell. The pleasure's all mine. Well, well. You've gotten smaller since the last time I saw you. What? Who are you calling small, you bite-sized old hag? Oh, no, you've said it, you pipsqueak! Microbe! Turn up size bowl liquor! You half pinted floozy! Flea circus performer! Bride shrimp egg! Damn it! How many times do I have to tell you to call me before you come in for maintenance? Win Ray, are you trying to kill me? Oh, hi Winry, we're home. <laughs> welcome back. So welcome. What? What, what happened to your arm? Yeah, about that. It got busted into something like a million pieces. I need it fixed, fast. Ed, I want answers. How did you wreck the best auto mail I've ever made? I put my heart and soul into that. And Al's all busted up too? You've been getting into some real trouble, haven't you? No, well, I mean, ask Ed. Cutting, building, fine-tuning, and finishing? Then this, that, and the other. Ugh, more all-nighters for sure. Listen, I know I'm asking a lot, but can you finish it all in, like, a week? Don't insult me. We'll have it done in three days, but I'm gonna have to charge you extra for the rest job. <laughs> Still, that's three days of waiting. It's nice to take a break every once in a while. Let's enjoy it. Taking breaks just ain't my style. I'm gonna break something if I can't find something to do. Brother, I've been thinking, maybe you should visit Mom. I'll stay here. I don't want to bother the Major to carry me around. You should go while you still have the time. Visit her grave, huh? You're right. I'll be back in a while, I guess. Mr. Armstrong, was it? I was hoping you could tell me something. 
about the daily life of those boys. As rural as we are, we don't get much news from the city. And those boys haven't sent me so much as a postcard since I left. I worry about them, that's all. The Elric brothers, especially Edward as the Full Metal Alchemist, have garnered quite a reputation around Central and in the East. As the unfortunate result, they do get pulled into a wide range of troubles from time to time. But it's all right. You take my word for it. Those boys are strong. Strong, eh? That's right. Like four years ago, when Ed transmuted his brother's soul by sacrificing his arm. Or when he decided to become a dog of the military. Or when he withstood the pain of automail surgery that would make even a grown man cry. I wondered how he could have so much strength in that tiny body of his. And it's because he is so strong that I worry. I worry if he could recover in the off chance that he'd stumble. That's what this family is here for, is it not? This family? Yes, that's the case, isn't it? I've watched those two grow up since the day they were born. Let's go home, Den. Everybody's waiting. You ready? Here it comes! Well, that was fast. The part when the nerves connect gets me every time. Don't be such a baby. Now go ahead, move it around. How does it feel? It feels great. Now, I know you're gonna slack off, so I increase the percentage of chrome to prevent rusting, but... Ow! I'm coming to fix ya! <laughs> Would you please listen to me when I'm talking to you? God, I just hate it when Al gets mad at Ed. It's like, oh my god, baby, no. Your arm looks great, Ed. We can always count on Auntie and Winry, huh? Yeah, I guess. Okay, Al, it's your turn to be fixed. Ready? brother don't mention it well then shall we hmm what are you two about to start now just a little sparring practice gotta make sure my limbs are working besides we haven't been able to move for a while so we need to get our chops back up Oh ho! Then I shall join you in your pugilistic pursuits. Okay. Um, wait, what? Come hither, tots! All pulled punches shall be promptly punished! Hmm? Such hesitation! If you're not coming for me, then I am coming for you! Behold! The artistic physical combat training secret number one, according to the Armstrong tradition! No! Get away from me! Oh, 
Oh no! Stop it! Oh my god, stop using that. I'm going to kill you. Oh. Whatever is the matter? You're not going to- So this is it. I'm gonna die here. What an embarrassing way to go. Hmm? Wait! No, no! Oh no! You shouldn't have, Edward Elric! You thought the two of you against me alone was an unfair fight, so you went easy on me, didn't you? I've never fought harder in my life! True. Such mercy! I can feel the love! Oh, you fill me with such happiness, Edward Elric! But no need to hold back. We must test our strengths on each other with all our might. Al, let's make a run. What? Al, how did you get away so fast? Take him out for me, Ed. What a gentle-hearted little brother. Now we can fight, man-to-man, one-on-one -on -one without reservation. Come, give me all you have, Edward Elric. I shall do the same. <coughs> Behold, the artistic physical combat training seek. Wasn't that a waste of an episode?